Saw, dudes. Uh, today we're gonna be uploading again. Finally, I know. I've been working a lot, so you know, hop off my cock. In anyways, uh, today the video that we're going to be playing is Death Garden Blood Harvest, and you'd be like, Blood Harvest? What the f is that? Uh, it it's Death Garden, like it was before, right? And uh, scrap that. It's completely different. Same game, technically, but uh, completely different. The old game used to look like this. And then the new game, the new part, the new update, it looks like this. Stay tuned if you guys are interested. Let's y'all. Let's ye. Let's be our mo me. Hey, help your boy out. Turn on the notification bell. Last thing before we actually get into the actual game and not just the memory. Before there was basically no story. There was pretty little lore in the previous iteration of, of Death Garden before it got updated to what it is now. Uh, now there is story. There's a lot more lore and there's an intro trailer to, you know, explain what's going on and like, you know, set the game in the world. And we're going to watch that now. So, yeet. In the wake of the war, the world stood still. Society had reached its peak. Driven by greed, superpowers collided without restraint, leaving nothing but ruins behind. The victors built the enclaves, vast fortified cities of limitless resources, condemning the rest to live in the surrounding slums. Yet all the blood spilled during the war was not enough to quench the thirst of those in power. The blood harvest was created. A vicious and deadly trial that determines who's worthy of a better life. The only way to leave the slums and earn a place within the enclaves is to join the Blood Harvest. A trial that very few survive. Only those who enter the Death Garden and prove themselves against terrible odds will ascend. But death lurks amongst the trees, always on the hunt. The hunters Gatekeepers of the Enclaves roam the Death Garden, relentlessly killing on sight. Scavengers come by their thousands. In the Blood Harvest, you either hunt or bleed. Saw, so, dudes. It's you, boy. And we're doing some post-gameplay commentary. I was not recording my voice while I was playing the game. I was just trying to get footage for the background for this part of the video. Uh, the, the background gameplay, like I said, is of Death Garden. It is of the new, you know, Blood Harvest game mode, uh, you know, version of the game, whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, it's not super important other than the fact I'm talking about Death Garden and I wanted to show off the new new version of the game, whatever. Okay, uh, the, the whole point of me recording this and making the video on Death Garden is I really enjoyed the actual Death Garden, like the very first iteration of it. I played it all the way back in the beta and the, the game basically died. It released, it came out, you know, everyone was interested in it because if you bought the game and you own Dead by Daylight, you get the uh, the Trapper Mask and the, um, you get the Trapper Mask in Death Garden and you get the, the Meg Mask, like the Death Garden Mask, so everyone's like hyped about that. The issue was that I, I think people thought that this game was going to be like Dead by Daylight where you can bully the killer and, you know, it's very survivor sided. It is definitely not that way. It wasn't then. It definitely isn't now. And you have to work together if, if you're like in a group or whatever, if you want to win, or you have to be very careful as a solo player. You have to be very stealthy and you have to be very patient or you will lose. Uh, the hunter is very strong. He's insanely strong in comparison to the survivors in the game. And the, there's some survivors like the one I'm playing currently, which is a ghost and ghost can cloak himself and other survivors. And it does help to actually get you know away when he can't see you. You're completely invisible as long as he doesn't bump into you or shoot you. If he does, you get a black outline, and you, you might see it in the game. I, I don't actually remember if it happened or not. I, any, anyways, the, the point I was making is uh, I really, really like this game, and I really want it to do well. 
you know, the as of right now, as of recording this video, the player base numbers are higher than they've ever been. And I didn't know if that was going to drop off again after the free to play weekend was over. So far, it's not, you know, knock on wood, we'll hope that nothing happens again. If you guys like the gameplay or you like this video and, and you wanted to try it before, now's a better time than ever to try it. Uh, the game is still currently in early access. It just left its free to play weekend. As of right now, there's only three killers. There's like five survivors, maybe six. I'll actually put them up on screen and show like a screenshot of them. And uh, the game is still in its infancy where it relaunched and basically, the, you know, there's some of the player base stuck around from before that actually enjoyed the game like me and Joe. We both made videos on this game. We really enjoy the game, but the previous version of the game died. So far, this player base is, is high in numbers. It's healthy. Everyone's having a good time. There's not a lot of like toxicity. Uh, it's a good game. Like I said earlier, you know, if you're having problems winning the game, you have to be really careful as a solo player, really stealthy, or you have to be working as a team. So like right now where I'm grabbing the, uh, the blood or whatever, the, the thing that actually would be the most helpful is if while I was delivering blood, someone else was also delivering blood and then he has to make a choice like the hunter does where he has to come stop one of you, but the other one is going to get the blood off. Uh, where I talked earlier about some toxicity and, you know, it not really being existent in this game. There is some and I, I've played with a couple survivors like I haven't played hunter yet in, in the current update or whatever. But as you can see up there in the top left of the time bar up there. The, uh, the time is ticking down. You can hide the entire game and do absolutely nothing. No objectives, just hang out and hide. And uh, the gates will spawn at the end. That is a super boring way to play. You don't learn anything at all about doing that. And if you're one of those people, you're absolute cancer. You are literal cancer. To actually win the game, if you're actually playing the game, is what I'm doing right now, where you collect blood from the blood posts. As you, you know, you could fill up, you have a maximum of 10 that you can carry. And then you bring it to the A, B, or C, you know, drop off point and stand in it. When you're standing in it, you're just dropping off the blood. He can, you know, like this thing I'm grabbing here is marked and I cloaked myself purposely so he wouldn't know where I was beforehand. He's also got the drones up there. And if you're within the red circle, like the cone, he, you're marked and you're, you're, you know, shown on an outline and he can see you. I, I don't know what else to say about the game other than the game is fun. It's by the same people that made Dead by Daylight behavior or whatever, but the gameplay dynamic is completely different. The survivors are not overpowered. The survivors are definitely not the strongest one. The hunter is definitely the strongest, and he can absolutely wreck you guys if you're not paying attention or working together. Uh, I, I appreciate you all for watching this video. I hope if anyone you know hasn't heard of the game and then saw this video, that my video possibly you know like tempted you to actually play the game. I really think you guys should give it a try. And thank you all for watching. Y'all, yeah. mo. Yeet.